Praise the Lord. This well, is just a few, eh? part two of Hallelujah, uh, Matthew, the eighth chapter. And we'll be reading from verses 14 through 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, again, I'm Elder Cosme Sims. Na mimi ni Mama Felicia Buki Sims. And we have Jesus Reign Restoration, Restoration Ministry. Ministry. Amen. Amen. Faith cometh by hearing. Imani na kuja kwa kusikia. And hearing by the word of God. Na kusikia neno la mungu. But be not just a hear of the word. Lakini tusiwe tu wa sikilizaji wa neno. But a door. Bali wati, watendaji. Indeed. Katika matendo. Amen. Amen. So, I would like for you to read verse 14. And this is Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law. Hapa tunasoma jinsi ambavyo Yesu alimponya mama mkwe wake wa Petro. Verse 14 please. Mstari 14 nitasoma katika jina la Bwana. Hata Yesu alipofika nyumbani kwa Petro, akamwona mkwe wa Petro, mamaye mkewe, amelala kitandani hawezi homa. Read 15. 15. Akamgusa mkono. Homa ikamwacha. Nae akaondoka, akawatumikia. Amen. So, and when Peter, correction, and when Jesus was come into Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother-in-law, and she, uh, hallelujah, and sick with, of a fever. Let me read that again. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and when Jesus was come into Peter's house. He saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This uh this verse here acknowledged that Jesus not only went into Peter's home where his mother in law was sick. Mm -hmm to heal her. Neno hili linatoa kisha kwamba Yesu sio tu kwamba alienda kwenye nyumbani kwa mama mkwe wake na Petro. But it acknowledge also nyumbani kwa Petro, samani. That hallelujah that Peter had a wife. Inatuonesha hapa kwamba Petro alikuwa na mke. For it says here in the scripture his wife's mother lay. Yaani mamaye na mkewe tunaambiwa katika andiko hili. So he had a wife. Hivyo alikuwa na mke. Amen. Amen. And, and, and his wife's mother lay sick with a fever. Alikuwa melala kitandani, ahawezi anahoma. Hallelujah. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and ministered unto them. Akamgusa mkono, homa ikamwacha. Nae akaondoka, akawatumikia. So the Lord touched her hand, and she was healed. Buwana kagusa mkono hule, na akaponya. And she rose up and gave God glory. Na kamuka, kamupa mungu tuku. She ministered unto them. Ali muhudumia. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So I believe she had a testimony. A testimony is the testifiers of what the Lord has done for you. Amen. Amen. The Lord, the scriptures and what I know as a child of God. That the Lord delight in the testimonies of his people. I would like for you to read verse uh, 16, please. Mr. Kumina Sita. Hata kulipo kuwa jioni, wakamletea wengi wenye pepo. Akawatoa pepo kwa neno lake. Akawaponya wote walio kuwa hawawezi. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and heal all that were sick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After that, the Acts 1 and 8. Matendo mitume moja nane. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you you shall have power. Baada ya pale roho wa Mungu atakapokuja atakuja roho juu yenu mtakuwa na nguvu uweza. Again Matthew 16:16 16, 16 through 18. Matayo kumina sita, uh, kumina sita paka kumina nane. Amen. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Yule anaya amini na kubatizwa taukolewa. Yule ya siya amini ata, ata hukumiwa. Ata and these are the signs of those that believe. 
Na hizi ndizo dalili za wale waaminio. They shall cast out devils and speak with new tongues. Watakemea pepo na watasema kwa lugha kwa na lugha nyingine. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Watawekea mikono wagonjwa na wataponywa. And if it's any deadly thing or poison that they shall uh, eat or consume uh, assume hallelujah that they will not die. Na wakila chuchote kile cha kufisha hawatakufa. And here Jesus is not short of his word by laying hands on those that were possessed. Hallelujah. And with his word bringing healing to those that were possessed or those that were sick. Hapo bwana Yesu anatuonesha kwa mfano akiwawekea mikono wagonjwa na kwa neno lake wanaponywa na kufunguliwa. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Kwa nguvu ya Roho Mtakatifu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. He brought they brought them unto him and he cast them out. Wakawaleta kwake naye akakemea wale pepo na wale pepo wakatoka. Amen. Amen. With his word. Kwa neno lake and they were healed. Na wakaponywa. Praise God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And you have that same authority. Na wewe una mamlaka hayo hayo kama umeokolewa na umejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. If I have, if that the spirit of God be in you. Kama yule roho wa kweli wa Mungu yuko ndani yako. No no Holy Ghost, no power. Bila Roho Mtakatifu hakuna mamlaka. Hakuna You have to try until you endow with power. Inabidi unyenyekee katika maombi na kutunza utakatifu mpaka utakapoangukiwa na kujazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. How do you get that power? Unapataje uwezo huo? You continue to sanctify yourself unto the Lord. Ukiendelea kujiweka wakfu mbele za Bwana. Separate yourself from the world and draw nigh to the Lord. Ukijitenganisha na ulimwengu na kumkaribia zaidi na zaidi Mungu. Hallelujah. Continue to abide in his word. Hallelujah. Endelea kujiweka ndani ya neno lake. Strengthen your faith in God. Kujitia nguvu na kuongeza nguvu katika neno lake na katika imani katika Bwana. Be an example of his word by walking in his power by walking in faith. Ukiwa mfano wa neno lake kwa kutembea katika nguvu na mamlaka kwa kutembea katika imani. Walking and living in his word. Kutembea na kuishi katika neno lake. Amen. Amen. And then God Hallelujah and sanctifying yourself he will sanctify you holy. Na unavojitakasa naye atakutakasa kwa kamili kabisa. And believe in God for the uh, hallelujah and repenting unto God and, and believing God hallelujah that uh, that you will re, uh, uh, that you were redeemed from your sins that you were saved from your sins by being a baptized believer. Ukiamini kwamba kwa kupokea yeye na anaweza uwezo huo anao kabisa wa kukukomboa na na dhambi za kukukomboa katika ile njia ya kwenda jehanamu na atakukomboa katika dhambi za baptized in the name of Jesus. Ukabatizwe katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And and believe in God for the infilling of his holy spirit. Na kumwamini Mungu kwa ujazo wa roho wake mtakatifu. Believe in God for a new language of speaking in tongues. Kumwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya lugha zile ndimi mpya, lugha ile ya mbinguni. Like on the day of Pentecost. Kama siku ya Pentecost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the second chapter of Acts. Katika uh, matendo ya mitume mbili where they were filled with the holy ghost and they spoke in tongues as the spirit gave utterance. Ambapo walijazwa na Roho Mtakatifu wakaanza kunena kwa lugha nyingine kama Roho wa Mungu alivyowapa kunena. Utterance is for a sign that they got it. Ndimi ni kwa ni dalili. Don't ishara. Don't doubt, believe God for not some but all. Usiwe na shaka, usiwe na usipungue imani. Muamini Mungu katika yote kwamba atakupa ndimi za kutoka mbinguni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Repentance, hallelujah unto God. Toba kumbele za Bwana. Hallelujah. The washing away your sins in the name of Jesus. Ukaukioshwa dhambi zako kwa jina la Yesu. Being filled with the Holy Ghost, his Holy Spirit. Kujazwa na roho yake, roho yake mtakatifu. And God giving you a new language, hallelujah, yeah. a heavenly language to speak. Na Mungu akakupe lugha nyingine, ndimi nyingine za kuongea wakati unaomba. Believe God for it all. Muamini Mungu katika kwamba ana uwezo kukupa yote. And you shall receive, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. What he do for one, he'll do for all. Ana mfanacho mtendea mmoja, anatendea wengine. God wajina. has no respect of person. Mungu hana upendeleo. Praise God. Acts 2:38 says. Matendo ya mitume mbili 
38 ndiyo inayookoa neno la uokoa praise the lord hallelujah number 17 number 17 i'm going to read it first mm -hmm. that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness read that please ili 17 nitasoma katika jina la bwana ili litimie lile neno lililo nenwa na nabii isaya akisema mwenyewe aliutwa udhaifu wetu na kuyachukua magonjwa yetu amen, amen. jesus hallelujah he bore our infirmities our sicknesses hallelujah the prophet had prophesied that but he was also prophesying the death of the cross how he bore the sins of the world your sins and my sins tunaamini kwamba bwana yesu alitwa madhaifu yetu na magonjwa yetu lakini hapa mtumishi wa mungu pia es, nabii esaya alikuwa anatabiri ambapo bwana yesu atakufa ata msalabani na kutwa na kuzibeba dhambi za ulimwengu the death of the cross hallelujah to atone for the sins of the world hallelujah that we will have a right a chance hallelujah for eternal life a tree to be able to have communion hallelujah holy communion had to have fellowship with god yani tukaweza kuwa na ushirika na mungu kifo chake katika msalaba wa kavari ndicho kinachopatanisha sisi na mungu kututoa katika ile hali ya kuishi katika dhambi tukisubiri kwenda jehanamu inatutoa kule tunakuwa katika hali ya kuishi katika utunzo utakatifu tukienda mbinguni reconciling us through the death of the cross that we will have fellowship with him that hallelujah that we will have the opportunity and a chance of salvation yani ule kifo cha msalaba wa kavari kinatupatanisha na Mungu haliwa kutupa nafasi kutupa kibali ushirika na Mungu kwa, kwa, kwa kuweza kuwa katika safari ya kwenda mbinguni tunaokolewa it was a correction of the sin that was done of, of Adam and Eve in the garden that separated him from them because of the uh, be, uh, because of the sin that they committed God had a plan God had a way to bring us back to hallelujah to him hallelujah through the death of the cross kutokana ile dhambi ya adam na hawa ambayo ilitutenganisha iliwatenganisha wao na kutenganisha uzao wao ambao sisi wanadamu na na, na ushirika na Mungu bwana akatengana Mungu animwaminifu sana atengeneza njia ya kutupatanisha sisi walimwengu watu wa wanadamu hapa kutupatanisha tena na yeye kupitia na kile kifo cha bwana Yesu katika msalaba wa kama hallelujah he said even though they sacrifice bullocks and sheep and goat without spot or blemish unto the Lord his people did on a daily basis it did not please God but he prepared a body and he came down and he was that living sacrifice hallelujah and he sacrificed his blood hallelujah for the remission of sins hallelujah and without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin yani wale walivyokuwa wakifanya zile kafara za uh, mabeberu kondoo wanyama wale hazikumtosheleza wala kumpendeza bwana hivyo akasema basi nitatoa mwili haliwe atashusha mwanai hapa duniani bwana Yesu ili kifo chake itakuwa ndiyo kafara inayokubalika mbele za bwana kuokomboa kukufuta na kusaidia dhambi za ulimwengu zote zifutwe kutupanisha kunipatanishwa na Mungu bila kumwaga damu hakuna ondoleo la dhambi the lamb of god without spot or blemish hallelujah wana kondoo wa mungu asiye na mawa wala kasoro yote that hallelujah that was without sin hallelujah hakuwa na dhambi yoyote but bore the sins and became sin on the cross hallelujah the, uh, for it's written curses everyone that hangeth on a tree kwa maana imeandikwa amelaaniwa yote yule ad tundikwae katika mti but he bore the sins of the world Bali and he shed his mwengi. precious blood for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe upon him shall not perish but have everlasting life kwa maana Mungu aliupenda sana ulimwengu akamleta mwanae ili yoyote yule aminie asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele praise the lord hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus asante yesu hallelujah na hapa tutamalizia sehemu ya pili tutaendelea na sehemu ya tatu ya matayo sura ya 8 we going to we going to go to uh, verse 23 18. 
18 uh, 18 through mm-hmm. 22 in mm-hmm. continuation aya katika kuendelea tutaendelea katika 18 mpaka 22 amen bwana yesu asifiwe tumeona tuendelee kwa sababu tuko kwenye dakika 15 tumeona tuendelee tu kidogo tuendelee praise the lord mm-hmm. we're going to we're going to review verses 18 to mm-hmm. 22 say that please 18 mpaka 22 tutaendelea and uh, you can entitle this the cost of discipleship yani hii kipengele tunachoenda kuongelea ni uh, gharama ya kuwa mfuasi the cost of discipleship and i'm going to read verse 18 it says now when jesus saw great multitudes about him he gave commandment to depart unto the other side read that please naye yesu alipoona makutano mengi wakimzunguka aliamuru kuvuka kwenda ngambo and a certain scribe came and said unto him master I will follow thee whether soever where, where soever thou goest. Stela 19. Mwandishi mmoja akamwendea akamwambia mwalimu nitakufuata kokote uendako. Number 20 and Jesus said unto him foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the son of man have not where to lay his head. Yesu akamwambia mbweha wana pango na ndege wa angani wana viota lakini mwana wa adamu hana pa kulaza kichwa chake 21 and the other of his disciples said unto him lord suffer me first to go and bury my father mwingine katika wanafunzi wake akamwambia bwana nipe ruhusa kwanza niende nikamzike baba yangu but jesus said unto him follow me and let the dead bury their dead. Lakini Yesu akamwambia, nifuate, waache wafu wazike wafu wao. Amen. Amen. So in 18 there are many that have followed him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh there were great multitudes of people like I said earlier that followed Jesus. Mstari wa 18 tunaona makutano wengi walimfuata, watu wengi walikuwa wakimfuata. And uh and here there was a certain scribe that said master you know i go wherever you wherever you go i'll go with you hapa tunaona mwandishi mmoja akasema kokote atakakoenda bwana yesu atamfuata and you know and in other the uh, epistles they ask you know they say uh, where do you stay they ask where do you go where, wherever you go i'll go and stay wherever you go and he let them know the foxes have holes and birds they have nests but the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. Yaani alikuwa anajaribu ku wengine walikuwa anamuuliza kwa mfano maandiko mengine wanasema ni wapi unapokaa? Tutaenda kule unapokaa. Ndipo akamweleza mbweha. Hallelujah. The scriptures wanapango na ndege wangani hawana viota. When you read in Hebrews it talks about how the Lord made himself poor to make us rich. Ukisoma katika maandiko hasa kitabu cha Hebrewia tunaambiwa jinsi ambavyo Bwana alijiweka kuwa masikini ili sisi tukapate kuwa na neema. How, how he made himself a little lower than the angels. Akajishusha chini ya malaika. Amen. He, malaika. How he humbled himself unto the cross as being a servant. Jinsi akajenyekeza chini ya msalaba hadi katika msalaba aliyokuwa akitumikia akiwa, akiwa kama mtu, mtu akitumikia watu wa Mungu. Hallelujah. The Jews did not believe that he was the Messiah. They looked for the Messiah to come with uh, uh in a with a whole bunch of royal uh, clothing and a pearl and a big crown and uh, soldiers and there but he came as poor. Hallelujah. He came meek and lowly. He said take my yoke upon me Uh, upon you and learn of me. Hallelujah. Mm. Yaani alikuja walio walikuwa namtegemea Messiah aje kama mtu mwenye mavazi ya kifahari, mwenye mambo makuu sana. Lakini wakamwona jinsi ambavyo ndio maana Wayahudi walikuwa wana shida samahani. Wayahudi na Waebrania walikuwa wana shida wengine kumwamini kwamba yeye kweli ni Messiah kwa sababu jinsi ambavyo alijishusha. Hallelujah. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light a yoke is something that you put uh, a collar you will put a, over maybe some some horses or put on some 
uh, 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 cattle to pull a plow, hallelujah, to plow the ground. It's a, it's a harness around. He was banned the sins of the world. Hallelujah. Yeah, ni nira na uzungumzia. Ni nira ambayo tulikuwa tunaona wanawekwa farasi au ngombe katika kuvuta ile plow kuilima. Na ya aliva ile nira, nira ya dhambi zetu za He umwini. prayed with blood, uh, sweat like blood fall and he 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 said not my will but let thine will be done. Hallelujah to lay down my life. Hallelujah for the sheep to lay down my life for the people not my will oh god but thine will be done Aliomba paka matoni ya damu yakatoka yani sio mapenzi yake alikuwa akiomba bali mapenzi ya Mungu yatimize akibeba zile zambi za ulimwengu zilivyokuwa ni ni, ni nzito ni ngumu kubeba He knew of the torture Alijua mateso yanayomgojea He knew of the pain and anguish that he would experience Alijua mateso atakayopitia Hallelujah for your sins and mine Kwa jila dhambi zako na dhambi zangu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the, how they sped on him and how they beat him and how they humiliated him. Jisu walivu mtemea mate, walivu mdhalilisha, walivu mtesa. Hallelujah. Uh, but at the same time, the scriptures say. Lakini hapo paipu maandiku ya nasema. That if they knew that he would, that salvation would come by his crucifixion of the cross by him being crucified on the cross. Iwapo angali elewa na kutambua kwamba wokovu ungekuja kupitia kusulubishwa kwake msalabani. If Satan knew of the plan of God to redeem man back unto himself. Kama shetani angeelewa mpango wa Mungu kumpatanisha mwanadamu na na yeye Mungu kupitia kifo cha Yesu Kristo. The scripture say they would not have crucified him. Maandiko yanasema wangalitambua wasinge msulubishwe. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Asante, Yesu. God has given us victory. Mungu wa anatupa ushindi. Hallelujah. Katika Yesu. God, hallelujah. He said, Behold, I was once dead, but I'm alive. Tam, hallelujah. Amini, tazama, nilikuwa, ni, niko katika wafu. Forevermore. Niko hai, milele na milele. And I have the keys of hell and over death. Na nafunguo za kuzimu na mauti. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He got the power. Hallelujah, he got the keys of hell. Hallelujah, he got the keys to the jail cell. Ana, ana funguo, za kuile jela, ya kule and the power over death. Na, na mamlaka juya, mauti. For the Lord declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Kwa ya metamuka, ye, njia, kweli na uzima. No man go to the Father but by me. Hakuna mtu atakayeweza kuenda kwa baba isipokuwa kupitia mimi. Amen. All Amen. power has been handed unto me in heaven and earth saith the Lord. Nguvu yote imepewa yeye. Hallelujah. 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 Duniani na mbinguni. Whose report will we believe? We going to believe the report of the Lord. Tutaamini taarifa ipi? Tutaamini taarifa ya Bwana peke yake. Praise Amen. the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Thank you, Jesus. In a continuation of expounding on the word of uh, verse verse 20, talk about the, the foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man have no way to lay his head. He, hallelujah. He said, uh, the, the disciples said, well, Lord, I, I'll follow you, but let me go home and bury my, my, my father. Let me go home and bury my loved one. And he said, Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Somebody mm -hmm. was look at that as being harsh. Mm -hmm. But the Lord had commanded him to follow him. And whatever the situation is with his family and salvation, hallelujah. Notice he used the word dead. Hallelujah. Unaona msaru wa 20 mpaka 23, unaweza kaona Yesu aliongea kwa ukali kumwambia kwamba yule mtu aliyesema anaomba ruhusa Aende kwanza kamzike baba yake alivyo sema nifuate waache wafu wazike wafu wao alikuwa anataka yule mtu amfuate yeye wakati ule Many Jews regard the commandment to honor your father and mother hallelujah as a supreme commandment and then when he asked when he said that I believe he thought about you know honoring his father by going home and burying him Unaona wayahudi walikuwa naamini kabisa ile amri ya Mungu inayosema tuheshimu baba na mama ili wazazi wetu ili tuweze kuwa na maisha mengi hapa duniani. Kwa hiyo alikuwa anaona akamzike baba yake katika kama tendo la heshima. Amen. Lakini Mungu alimpa maelekezo hapa mengine. Amen. So he look at it as not just an obligation but to do something to honor his dead father. 
akaona kwamba ile ni alikuwa anataka kumheshimu baba yake hata katika mauti amen, amen. We, we, uh, uh, hallelujah jesus hallelujah and his divine word and teach he said let the dead bury the dead but you follow me god have a divine purpose for him mungu alikuwa na mpango maalum na maisha yake ndicho maana alimweleza vile aachane na yote amfuate wakati ule ndio uliokuwa wakati wa kutii kumfuata bwana yesu he's not speaking against his word hakusema kinyume na neno lake la kutii wazazi hapana Yes, do God want you to honor your mother and father that your days belong upon the earth? Amen. Amen. Mungu anataka tutii wazazi wetu ili siku tukawe na siku nyingi zenye heri hapa duniani. Amen. But God will provide our every need according to our riches and glory. Lakini Mungu atakutana mahitaji yetu yote sawa sawa na mapenzi yake na utukufu wake. And it wasn't like I perceive, I think, I perceive through the Holy Ghost that it wasn't like he didn't have nobody that could do what need to be done concerning his father. Ababa anamtumishwa ana, Mungu anasema anaelewa kupitia nadhani uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu yeye anaposema anaamini ni Roho Mtakatifu anamfunulia kwamba huyu mtu sio kwamba hakuwa na ndugu wengine ambao wangeweza kushughulikia yale mazishi. If the Lord has said that to you. Kama Bwana angesema hayo kwako which would you do? Wewe ungefanya nini? If you believe him to be God kama unamwamini yeye kuwa Mungu and God say follow me na yeye amesema umfuate what is your decision wewe uamuzi wako ungekuwa ni nini i believe god na muamini Mungu i have to be obedient inabidi niwe mtii obedience is better than sacrifice mtii ni bora kuliko dhabihu disobedience is worse than witchcraft and idol worship and idols kutokutii ni mbaya kuliko dhambi ya uchawi i have to Kwa follow sana. jesus inabidi nimfuate Yesu yeah. haleluya Ninaomba niseme kitu. Let me say something. Mm. We had in, someone had approached our counseling link. Mm -hmm. She understood about her the need for her to be saved. But she at the same time she was afraid of her father being of another Christian persuasion. She did not want to offend her father. For that reason she wanted to kind of remain saved in secret. She could not even go to a Bible believing church. She wanted to be saved that way because she was still living under her father's house. And yeah. she wanted to have somebody out there in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. She had approached our counseling link and I felt sadness in my heart because I was trying to explain to her not to disobey her father but she has understood the need to be salvation. She doesn't know how long she has on this earth. She should pursue salvation and okay, trust let's God review. to make a she, way. She is living in her father's house. He's not a Christian. He's a Christian of another persuasion. Okay, of another persuasion. Yes. Okay. They don't believe in salvation. Okay. Her father's persuasion. All right. Yes. So, she, and her, so her father and this other persuasion, the doctrine is different. Yes. She came to the knowledge of the truth. Yes. But at the same time, she's worshiping. She is seeking the truth and finding the truth. She is keeping it a secret. Yes. Let me let me say the issue in Swahili. Hmm. Then we'll, you will speak how you would advise such a person. Ni kwani nasema hivi? Ni kwani naelezea kwa Kiingereza kwamba kuna kitu fulani kilinihuzunisha sana. Alikuja ndugu mmoja ni wa kike dada huyu kwa sababu amepokea wokovu ameshikia shuhuda ame yuko tayari nadhani alikuwa amepokea wokovu tayari nilivyomuelewa lakini alikuwa anashindwa afanye nini kwa sababu alikuwa anaishi katika nyumba ya mzazi wake baba yake ni kijana binti wa miaka na kitu akawa anasema anaogopa kwenda kanisani anaogopa kutangaza ameokoka anataka awe ni mtu aliyepokea wokovu kwa siri alinisikitisha sana nijaribu kumshauri kwamba amwamini Mungu afany atembee na wokovu kwa imani na kwa wazi bila kuasimkosea heshima mzazi wake bali afuate wokovu na kumwamini Mungu atakwamtengenezea njia what i say to those that are atheists that don't believe in god wale anachowaambia wale wa, wa atheist wasioamini Mungu huko na dini inaitwa wa atheist awamini kama the knowledge of the truth ambao wanaokoka and those that of different persuasions and, and denominations and belief na wale wenye imani 
uh, tofauti uh, kuhusu Kristo that believe now in the uh, the uh, apostolic doctrine na ambao sasa wamepokea wokovu sasa wana manabii walivyotufundisha na, na watumishi wa Mungu walivyofundisha katika Biblia which is the new testament in Christ Jesus ambao ni agano jipya katika Yesu Kristo and the teachings of the apostles mafundisho, that were chosen by God na mafundisho wa wafuasi wa Bwana Yesu ambao walichaguliwa na Mungu Jesus say Yesu alisema that you shall know the truth utaijua kweli and the truth shall make you free na ile kweli itakuweka huru when God Hallelujah change your heart. Bwana atakapobadilisha moyo wako. When God fill you with his Holy Spirit. Bwana atakapokujaza na roho yako mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Wake mtakatifu. You can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. Huwezi kufanya chochote dhidi ya ukweli na mbele ya ukweli. God want us to walk in truth. Mungu anataka tutembee katika kweli. And if, for the young lady to stand in her father's house. Na huyu binti anayeishi bado katika nyumba ya baba yake. And and believe God for his word of salvation. Na kumwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya ukombozi wake. Faith in Christ. Imani katika Yesu Kristo. I know that if possible that if you can do uh can sit down and talk to your loved one and reference to your belief. Ninaamini kabisa kwamba ukikaa ukawakalisha chini ndugu zako, ukaongea nao kuhusu imani yako katika Yesu Kristo. And it don't threaten your life. Na hai atarishi maisha yako kama nakutishia kuhuwa au nini? Do it. Fanya hivyo. Pray about it first. Omba sana kusu ilo kwanza. Seek the Lord for direction and answer and how to how do you approach the situation. Ebu muombe buwana akupe ekima ya jinsi ya kudil na ilo suwala. Because there are some that are non-Christian. Kuna baadhi ambao siwa Christo. That if and though you... Hallelujah have another uh, uh, the, uh another persuasion or another belief Kama mtu ana imani nyingine tofauti and you do not convert na hukokolewi it could cost you your life inaweza kusababisha kuhatarisha maisha yako so you have to be wise inabidi uwe na hekima and approach in this situation na katika kuenda na na swala hili especially if it threatens your life hasa kama inahatarisha maisha yako hallelujah so God will give you direction on how to deal with this. Mungu atakupa maelekezo jinsi ya ku deal na swala hili. The Lord's eyes are always on the righteous. Macho yake Bwana mara mara zote muda wote yako kwa wenye haki. And his ears are always attentive to our prayers. Na masikio yake huwa yanasikiliza mambo yetu. Anasikia kila kitu. He sits high and he looks low. Anakaa, anakaa na and, and this I know according to God's word. Na hiki na la Mungu. He knows them that are his. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So a child of God, someone that wants to be a child of God, that want to be saved, that, that and here it is, they in a house where they serve in another God and so forth, continue to pray. Mtu ambaye ana, anataka kumtumikia Mungu na yani anataka kumfuata Yesu na anaishi kwenye nyumba ambayo asioamini The Lord will make a way somehow. Mungu atasikenezea njia. So even njia in the yote. word of God say that he will make a escape. Atatengeneza njia hata kwenye neno lake amesema atatengeneza njia mlango wa kutokea. He will make a way from that temptation. Atatengeneza njia kupitia from that torment. Kupitia haleluya from that problem. Ushawishi huo na majaribu hayo. Let me say something else I remember. I know of at least two ladies, one I went to school with. Because of her decision to become saved, she ended up living at one of the saints' house. Mm -hmm. By the time I met her, we were in high school. And that lady was steadfast in her faith. She's one of the people that was encouraging me. And as I speak today, she ended up marrying a young man from the, that church. I think they live in Minnesota or somewhere mm -hmm. out here. Eventually they mm -hmm. came out here. Her husband now is a minister. Yeah. So God made a way for her the way she decided she's going to follow Jesus no matter what. Mm -hmm. God made a way for her. The church made provisions for her. I think she finished her secondary school that way. Yeah. She was in high school that way. That her father just say, you, you out of my house. Mm -hmm. She made a way. She stayed with the pastors, stayed with the saints, kept herself, 
she she went to college and I, I didn't get, you know, stay in touch with her reconcile with her she, I, I believe she could reconcile with her parents mm -hmm. but God made a way for her let yeah. me say in Swahili ni na ushuhuda najua watu wawili ambao nawafahamu mmoja dada mmoja tulikutana naye form 6 form 5 na form 6 yeye alipookoka baba yake alimfukuza na wakati nimekutana naye tuko form 5 form 6 tulikuwa tuko boarding alikuwa yeye anatunzwa na watumishi wa yani mchungaji alifanya ma njia yeye aishi na nani aishi wapi katika wale watakatifu alishakaa na nyumba ya mchu, katika nyumba ya mchungaji Mungu alimtunza alim alimshika alim Yesu akamtunza Yesu akajitunza baadaye alisoma chuo baadaye akaolewa na kijana pale hata nilikuwa namfahamu katika ile kanisa alibarikiwa akaolewa na kijana pale sasa hivi ninavyozungumza wako wanaishi huku walikuja wanaishi huku Marekani miaka kadhaa iliyopita na mume wake sasa hivi ni mtumishi wa Mungu kwa hiyo mtu akiokoka mimi nasema mfuate mshike Yesu atakutengenezea nje I, I know a sister in East Africa anamjua mdada Afrika Mashariki she her name is Esther jina lake anaitwa Esther but before she grew up as a muslim lakini kabla hapo alikuwa amekuzwa katika dini ya islam but then she chose christianity to follow christ aliichagua kumfuata kristo and changed her name to esther akabadilisha jina lake akabatizwa akaitwa esther she was excommunicated from the family alifukuzwa kwenye familia yake and she had no inheritance na akanyimwa hata urithi katika familia yake but now she uh, as the years went on miaka ilivyoenda hallelujah her father, hallelujah, she's at peace with her family. She's at peace with her father. But her name is, but she still served the Lord. And her name is Esther. The Lord made a way. I know uh, there's another name, Johanna. Kuna mwingine anaitwa Yohana. They grew up in a Muslim family. Ambaye naye alikuwa katika familia ya Kiislamu na Katoliki. I, I, I baptized him in Jesus name. Alikuja alibatizwa na na mchungaji wa mtumishi wa Mungu hapa kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa njia hiyo sahihi. He's Bible. Na leo hii anafundisha Biblia. He's laying bibilia. hands on the sick. Ana upako wa kuombea wagonjwa. He's filled with the Holy Spirit. Amejazwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Living as a child of God. Anaishi kama mtoto wa Mungu. Hallelujah. And he's and he's at peace with his family. Na na amani sana familia yake. Yaani familia yake mtu aki, akipata tatizo la kiroho, kapandisha pepo ni nini? Wanamuita Yohana. There are Muslims. Ndambo ni waislamu wanamuita. God call us on the peace and not war. Mungu ametuita katika amani na sio vita. And I know these stories are these are you say well these are good they, they, it worked out good for them but for others not so good because some lost their lives. Na tunakwambia hizi shuhuda ni njema ziliishia vizuri lakini tunataka tukwambie pia kuna ambao walimpoteza maisha yao. It's true. Ni kweli. But why because this why because in certain instances if you do not convert there some will actually threaten your life tunaelewa kabisa kwa sababu kuna wengine ukiamua kufuata kristu uana una uko katika list ya kuuawa but the lord will make a way somehow lakini bwana atatengeneza njia kwa njia moja na nyingine amen even to keep you from the temptation of sin hata kukutunza katika vishawishi vya dhambi amen amen hey it is not that God that any should perish, but God want all to come to the knowledge of the truth. Sio mapenzi ya Mungu watu waangamie bali wote waje katika ukweli. And that all may live, hallelujah. Na wote waweze kuwa hai. And have life more abundant. Na kuwa na uzima wa milele. Amen. Amen. And and us as ministers we have to be wise as serpents but harmless as doves and winning a soul. Anasema kama uh, wa mchungaji wa yeye anatume ameitwa wachungaji wameitwa kuwa wanyenyekevu kama huwa lakini kuwa wenye werevu kama nyoka hey, it, it's not your home sio nyumbani kwako you, you fear of retaliation unaogopa kuhukumiwa mateso you 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 fear of death unaogopa kifo but God will make a way. Lakini Mungu atatengeneza njia. Amen. Amen. And and God he's given us peace. Mungu ametupa amani. Through his spirit. Kupitia roho. He's given us joy through his spirit. Kupitia roho yake. Hallelujah. And God do not want us to be bound but he want us to be free. Mungu hataki tuwe tumefungwa bali anataka tuwe huru. He we don't have a spirit of bondage. Hatuna roho ya kifungo. We don't have a spirit of fear. Hatuna roho ya hofu. But God has given us a a, a spirit 
of power Bali Mungu amekutupa nguvu roho ya nguvu of love upendo and of a sound mind na akili tio timamo amen amen as the prophet as uh, Isaiah say Kama uh, Nabi Isaiah alivyosema He said come let us reason together Alisema njoo hebu tujadiliane Though your sins be as red as scarlet I will make you white as wool Iwapo dhambi zako zitakuwa nyekundu kama haradali nitazisafisha kama ziwe nyeupe kama sufi God will make you clean Mungu atakusafisha But come and let us reason together Lakini hebu njoo tushauriane And you reason through the scriptures Ukijadiliana nao kufuata maandiko na hekima ya kwamba Yesu ni Bwana. Hallelujah and that, that's where your faith lies. Ndipo imani yako itakaposimama. And this spirit that he give me a peace and joy of the Holy Ghost. Na roho hiyo aliyokupa ya furaha na amani katika Roho Mtakatifu. It's for all, not just for me, but for all. Ni kwa ajili wote, sio kwa ajili yangu mimi tu peke yangu. And I'm changed. Na nimebadilishwa. My sins have been forgiven. Dhambi zangu zimesamehewa. And I have love of hallelujah uh, unspeakable love and full of joy hallelujah, hallelujah. amen my amen. heart has been changed Moyo wangu thank you jesus Asante, yes. so i know that there's some difficulty where there's difficulty among christians people christians being in other christians house that have other beliefs kuna matatizo hata kwa wakristo walio ndani ya nyumba za wakristo wenye imani zinatofauti ambazo sio za wokovu. Amen. There where there's a disagreement on doctrine. Ambako kuna tofauti ya imani maandiko, yani kuchanganua maandiko biblia. A disagreement on how to worship God. Kutokuelewana katika jinsi ya kumwabudu Mungu. Even the acknowledgement of Jesus Christ as being Lord. Hata kutambua kwamba Yesu ni Bwana, Yesu ni Mungu. Amen. 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 So, but God the wisdom of God, the spirit of God, Hallelujah, will keep your hearts and minds. In perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Him. Tumeambiwa tawewe kwa katika amani idio timilifu yule ambayo ufahamu wake kiliyake ikondani ya Kristo. Praise God. This concludes Hallelujah part two of uh, Matthew eight. the eighth chapter, verses. 18 through 22. ndipo tunaishia sehemu ya pili ya Mathayo 8 mstari wa 18 mpaka 22. Barikiwe sana tutaonana katika ujumbe unaofuata. Asante.